This is an exponential equation. The way to do exponential equations is you eventually want to end up with a situation where you have like something like this, for example. You see how these numbers become the same. If you can get those numbers to be the same, then that's the magic, and that's where you can then cancel them and then solve. So how do you get the numbers the same? Well, you see, like, let's say, for example, you have like 3x equals to, um, I don't know, 81. Now, if you take the number 81, well, let's first look at the number 3. Can you take the number 3 and break that down any further? No, you can't. Why? Because 3 is a prime number. For example, 3 can be written as 3 times 1 or 1 times 3. Can it go any further? No, you can't write it any other way. However, if I gave you the number 4, well, that could be written as 1 times 4, but it could also be written as 2 times 2. You see, so the idea in is in mathematics is we break the numbers down all the way down to prime numbers. Now, this 2 is already a prime number. So we're not going to do anything with that. We, what we could do is just get um, just get rid of this little two over here um, by using exponent rules. Can you remember what to do? If you have a3 and then there's a 2 over here, well, what does that become? a to the power of 6. So we're going to end up with 2 to the power of 2x. See what I did there? And then 128. Now, we need to break this 128 down as much as possible. Now, there is a way to do it on the calculator, and I am going to show you that, but I just want to show you how amazing mathematics is if you understand what's actually going on. The number 128 can be written. Let's start breaking it down. We can break it down into, I want you to think of any two numbers you can multiply to give you 128. So what I thought of was 64 multiplied by 2, but you might think of something else, but that's okay. If you keep following what I'm doing, you will get down to the same prime numbers. And this is what's beautiful. So check this out. Now I'm going to take this number and I'm going to write it as 8 times 8. But you could have done something else. You could have said like 20, uh, what, what would that be? Um, 16 times 4, for example. But it, you can do that, okay? Now, this number can be broken down into 4 times 2. This number can also be broken down into 4 times 2. And then this number cannot be broken down because it's already a prime number. Now, this 4 could be broken down into 2 times 2. Then I'm just going to write this one. Then this 4 can be write, written as uh, 2 times 2. And then I'm just going to put this part and this part. And look at that. All of the numbers are now broken down as far as they can. So we could now say that 128 is the same as 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. As I said, you might have done this in a different way. Maybe you said that 128 is the same as, I don't know, I'm just going to think of something random. Let's say 32 times 4. Maybe that's what you decided to do. Now, that's okay, because 32, you could think of that as 8 times 4, or you could say 16 times 2, it doesn't matter. And then 4 is the same as 2 times 2. I'm then going to break this down into 2 times 4. I'm then going to break this down into 2 times 2, and then I can't do anything with the rest. And then I'm going to break this down into 2 times 2. Whoopsie. And then I'm still going to write down all of those four. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we have it. 128 is the same as 2 to the power of 7. You see what we're doing, guys? We can break numbers down, and we break them down until they cannot go any further. Those are called prime numbers. They are like the building blocks of mathematics. It's beautiful. So now, what's the fast way to do it? Well, the fast way is to just type in 128 on your calculator, press the equal button, press the shift button, and then look for the button that, look for the button where it doesn't say fact on the button, but it says fact just above the button. Look for this on your calculator. It's, it's just above one of the buttons. Go press it, and it'll say 2 to the 7. Boom, that's exactly what we said. So now what you do is you just change this to 2 to the power of 7. And now when these numbers are the same, you can cancel them. So you just ignore them completely. And now you end up with 2x is equal to 7. How do we get x alone? You divide both sides by 2. And so we end up with x equals to 7 over 2.